There are three reasons why I don't recommend using Apple Pay or Google Pay, but the lack of security is not one of them. What would happen if I took this device to scan credit card information and try to use it on a phone that has Apple Pay or Google Pay? Could I grab your wallet's information? Here I have my credit card and here I have the flipper. Now watch what happens when I hold the flipper over the credit card. The flipper is able to pick up that it's a MasterCard and the credit card number and the expiry date. Now let's do the same thing, but this time I'm going to read the info off my phone, which has Google Wallet set up and the same would apply to Apple Pay. What can this device now read? Absolutely nothing. Well, at least nothing that's usable. You see, after you set up your Apple Pay or set up your Google Wallet with your credit card, all payments are done via a virtual token. Think of it as a one-time virtual credit card. Now, without getting into the technical details, but even if I was to grab that info, I won't have the correct digital signature and the tokens, so that transaction would be declined. With a mobile payment, your actual credit card info, like your credit card number that you've linked with your mobile wallet is never revealed and therefore isn't usable. So if the scanner can't pick up the info from the phone, what happens if your phone is lost or stolen? Can anyone go on a shopping spree with your phone? Well, I was pickpocketed in Italy on the subway heading to the Vatican and within 20 minutes, they were already using my cards all over Italy. That would not have been possible if I had used mobile payments. In most cases, when you try to use your phone to make a payment, it will require you to unlock the phone first with whatever method you've set up on your phone. And I say in most cases, as there are some variations of this in different countries where small payments amount doesn't actually require you to unlock your phone. But for anything meaningful, it will. Just like you know how to cancel your credit card if you can't find your wallet, if your phone is lost or stolen with your Apple Pay on it, you simply log into Find My Device iPhone system and mark your device as lost. When you do that, it will automatically disable Apple Pay. With Android, you can lock your device and erase it with Find My Device. And since the phone requires you to unlock it before you can make a payment, you're actually more protected than losing your credit card. But hold up, before you throw your wallet into the trash, there is a massive, massive issue with mobile payment. Let me show you. Do you take Apple Pay or Google Pay? Uh -huh. You guys do Apple Pay and Google Pay? Perfect. Do you guys accept um, Apple Pay or Google Pay? No. Can you pay with like Apple Pay or Google Pay with us? Yeah. Ah, the biggest issue and why we are not ready to ditch our wallet yet is adoption. Not everywhere has adopted the NFC point of sale technology and even places that have, not everyone has the ability to accept Apple Pay and Google Pay. So if you don't have your physical card, you're out of luck. Whilst you might be perfectly fine in your local shops, will the hotel or that fancy restaurant allow you to pay with your phone? In my experience, the answer is a flat no. Especially when you remember that mobile payments are not globally accepted yet. The other massive block is online shopping. Whilst every e-commerce site allows you to pay with a credit card, not many have the ability to accept Apple Pay or Google Pay. Some of the biggest retailers in the US where mobile payments are widely used do not have that facility for their online store. That is very frustrating. And it's not like you can open your mobile wallet and get your credit card information either. As a security feature, once you set up your credit card inside your mobile wallet, you cannot unhide that info and see your credit card numbers. Mobile payments are the future, but we aren't ready to make a full switch yet. The phone is really convenient to make those quick payments and to save your travel and event ticketing. Right now, there are various test programs in place that allow people to have a digital version of their driver's license kept inside the mobile wallet. So security is pretty darn tight and I'm sure it will get tighter as this becomes the norm. Would I not use Apple Pay or Google Pay because it's insecure? Absolutely not. Would I ditch my wallet today? Uh, not yet. I would love to know from those of you who are using mobile wallets, do you leave your wallets at home? And those who are not using mobile payments at the moment, what's stopping you from using it? Oh, and if you have a credit card, you really must watch this video over here where I show you how to protect yourself from getting your information stolen with a device like this flipper, or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video 
or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.